Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today's video, I was able to pull this dude right here, Urius, when I did my summon video. Uh, you can check out that summon video. Spoilers, by the way, <laughs> but I have them now. Um, so I wanted to use them a little bit, and I was going to play a little bit of Mercury Gauntlet, and then the other thing that you use water units for, which is HBH. So that's what today's video is going to be. Remember, if you end up liking it, to leave a like. Um... Subscribe if you want more Dragalia stuff and comment about if you have them how you're feeling about them I think there's currently some people that feel like He doesn't do a lot of damage and to be fair I'm not using him on a team that I think really maximizes his damage to the most uh, most ability But I haven't really had much trouble as far as I can tell um, There's also a reason I'm using Siren with him over uh, uh, Gopne and Kretne is that how you pronounce her name? Yeah there's a reason I'm doing that over that, but even though that would be very good on him now that I see it. Um, the basic thing. So he's a dragon drive unit. He gets 100% of his skills right up front. Here's the one thing that's kind of bad is that, um, as you can see here, his bottom part really wants someone to be frostbitten. And it's actually kind of hard because I don't have anyone that really deals frostbite. So for the most part, he doesn't really deal that much damage to frostbite anything. Which is, I think, the biggest shame about him is that he doesn't inflict frostbite at all. I checked, too. I tried to see, like, oh, do you inflict frostbite on something? As far as I can tell, nothing he says says he inflicts frostbite, but who knows? There are water units that can inflict frostbite. I just don't have any of them ready, I think, to actually use. So that's what's going to be this unit. We're going to jump in here. We are not really fit for this Mercury Gauntlet, but it should be fine. At least in my testing, it was perfectly fine. Let's see how it changes. Um, but yeah, I've been having a whole lot of fun with him. I think he's really fun. I like that he summons uh, what looks like King Ghidorah heads when he uses his moves in a dragon drive state, which is really good. Um, let me see. Now I'll go dragon drive. A little faster. Hit them all. Hit them all. Hit them. Hit them up. Hit them up. Hit them up. There they are. You can't see their heads, but they totally look like little Ghidorah heads. Go and then here and here. Tentacle Phantasma. Chase everyone's everything, everything. Hit him with this. Now at this point, I'm going to switch over here because she's gonna get her dragon real soon. Get the dragon, come on. She's supposed to be getting her dragon. I don't understand why she's not getting her dragon. There it is. And then boom, then I'll switch back to him. And of course, because it's the AI, he switched out of it. But it's fine. He shouldn't be living for very much longer. There he is. Get him right there. Yeah, and we're kind of screwing this guy up left and right pretty pretty good, I would say, considering how much um, we're lower level than him, I would say. Oh, man. Those Ghidorah heads always... I'd love to see them. I think they're real funny. With skills like yours, we're sure to get through this safely. Bam. Bam. My power is splendid now. Yes. Yes, your power is very good. Um, let's do another Mercury. Let's do another level here. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why I don't use the bunny. Because I much prefer the bunny to be with someone else. And then they can... Because currently this team has 60% um, Dragon Haste. Which, funny enough, doesn't go to any of the... Um, Dra I don't think Dragon Haste affects um, Dragon Drive Gauge, at least. I'm trying to remember, there are certain moves that do and certain moves that don't, and I'm trying to think of whether or not... Um, so if I'm wrong, then apologies for that, but you can correct me on that one. But it was always my understanding that moves that fill the gauge do affect it, but moves that specifically increase Dragon Haste doesn't affect it. So, I don't know. If I'm wrong about that, you can gladly correct me, but as far as I know, that's how it works. Alright, now we go here, just to get the bunny. Come on, bunny. Come on, bunny. There it is. Go in here. Go here. He's already switched out of it, because of course he did. One moment, I think someone's home. Yeah, my mom just came home from late night working, so I'm gonna try and quickly finish this. 
she doesn't usually come over here, so I'm gonna have to very quickly kill this guy before my mom comes in and uh, ruins the video. Well, you know, not to ruin the video, my mom would make the video better, but I want to give her my undivided attention and not make her feel bad about interrupting the video. I'm pretty sure if I could switch to Ellie. He's dead. There we go. Alright. But yeah, that's him and Mercury Gauntlet. And him with Tiki is really funny because both of them just completely dominate this fight. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try and uh, hide Brunhilde right now. But let me first pause and wait to talk to my mom. I guess she realized I was recording and didn't want to talk. So. Alright. Let's take him on to HBH. Alright, I'm gonna try and do the standard. Um, I've beaten, I think, I'm Brunhilde on every single difficulty. Yeah, I've beaten it on Master, Expert, Standard, I only beat once and just immediately gave up. So let's see. Uh, in order to survive, I'm going to need a lot of defense for the beginning blast to save everyone. Let me see. Thing. 10% defense over what? Okay, yeah. That is the way to go. Alright. Uh, expect a lot of death, because if you don't run the exact right routine in Heim um, things go bad. And I don't want to do co-op and ruin someone's run, so... This is the way it's going to be for right now. And I have to hope to God I don't die, basically. All right, let's try it out. Okay, so let's hope. There we go, okay, we survived it. We need to be healed, and we need to be healed soon. And of course, there goes our chances of winning. But it's fine. Oh, I need to transform. Oh, I could have actually transformed and saved her, I think. Ah, well, it's fine. Ooh. Okay, so let's retry that one again real quick. And that's the reason why it's all bad, is because I think no matter what, he's going to always target me for that thing. So it actually makes showing him off kind of annoying when it comes to this specific mode. Or at least on solo. Maybe I'll try it on co-op if this doesn't end up going well. Let's see. This one means business. Show me your quarter. Okay, I'll save one of them for when he does this. Seeker of truth. I will show you Damn the it. of my research. Of course I timed it wrong. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, I'm usually pretty good on showing standard from the other ones, but Mim has a lot of moves that are very annoying. Um, they just hit you on the side. At least I think so. It's not so bad in co-op. In co-op, it's way easier. She's actually, I think, probably one of the easiest fights. Okay, let's go here. Wait for it. Okay. She's gonna do her Then... There we go. And then I'm gonna go this. Then I'm gonna go this. Of course, Ellie died <laughs> again. <laughs> Alright, should be fine. There we go, run away. Run away, run away, run away. Volcanic Blitz. Save. Got him right there. I just remembered that I have actually two extra lives, so maybe I'll just hold off on... Really? Oh, this is why I hate you so much. I hate Mim's fight so much. <laughs> Because there's so many bullshit moves. So I only play Hunter Series against her. I hate her so much. Oh, I don't hate her. I hate the fight so much. It's so annoying. She's also almost dead, so who knows? Maybe we have a shot. This is another bad thing. I'm not going to have my units right away. Go. Disco party. Everyone died. Everyone except for the important person, I guess. Oh, we broke her. We might actually be able to win this. Let's see. Come on, come on, get hype, get hype, get hype, get hype, get hype. Tentacle Phantasma! 
not bad. Again, he'd be doing so much more if I could guarantee the um uh the frostbite, but I just don't have any more with frostbite at the moment. Tentacle Phantasma! There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Did she die? Oh no, Crimson Inferno. Run! There we go. Not bad, not bad. Tentacle Phantasma! Uh-oh. This is the Yeah, this is the X move. If I remember correctly, go here. The ground is burning! There it is. Ah, uh, really? Did I hit the one part of it that was actually legitimately? Oh, that's a, that's a big sad. It's a big sad bummer. My prayers are with you. Don't you give me your thoughts and prayers. Okay, go here. What is your design? Okay, kill the other ones. Don't focus on me. Kill the others. Good, good. Unknown. Kill the others, not me. Oh god. I did say kill the others, so he's at least listening to me at this point. No! Damn it! Go, bunny. Or at least do this. Yeah, hit him with the bunny. Hit him with the one two bunny step. Hit him! Come on, die! Oh, that's it. Cause this is gonna hit me and I'm gonna die. I must not oh wow, I'm not dead. Now I'm dead. Damn it! I was so close. I'm gonna retry. I, it's not that I like trying to. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna pause and see if I win this. Okay, I'm having a real good run on this one, so I'm coming back right now in media res as he's about to get his ass kicked. Thank God. Whew. Surely the goddess Man, works through you. I did a lot of retries. <laughs> Just to go for that one dumb kill. My power is splendid now. Um I mean that was really just for me personally, really than anything else that didn't really show off the character in any way. Oh man. Alright. No. Oh and I got standard, completely done. That's nice. All right, so let's go here. So what do I think about him? Uh, I think he's fun. I actually really do like him. I like his ability to summon King Ghidorah's head at any point he wants, and also multiple of them. I uh, like his style, like his fangs. I don't know. The only thing that I think is kind of weird about him is that frostbite thing. Other than that, I think he's perfectly fine. Um, there's, it's really weird, I think, in water, because in general, the only thing you want to do is really HBH, but... HBH can be, like Heimbrun and Hilda can be memed on by almost any unit in the entire game. You can use three Tiki's and one Ellie and you can win a Heimbrun and Hilda. Um, so I think people freaking out about, I don't know, the lack of damage is silly when it's like the, the four, four vegetables can beat that fight on Master and that's kind of like, eh. It, you know, maybe it's not fair to Heimbrun and Hilda, but in general. I would wait off on judging any water units until we get to um, the Agito. Because then when we get the Agito, that's where you're actually going to be farming a lot of things. Like, is anyone actually farming High Brunhilda? Not really. Uh, mainly because the team comp is annoying, it's always the same. It's an easy fight once you understand what to do, but the fight doesn't change. The fight is always the same. Um, and I guess that's true for a lot of higher end content in general. But that's today's video. Tell me what you feel about him. Are you disappointed? Are you happy with him? Are you just like me and you're just like, this guy's cool and therefore I use him? Uh, stuff like that. Tell me how you feel. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. And until next time, everyone, goodbye. <laughs>